Uh, hello, everybody. Um, I was at, I did a, a pre the previous video I did. If you have a look, uh, there was some lidded uh, little lidded balls. <clears throat> I said that uh, I would put a lip on them, uh, and someone sent a message saying, "Well, I show show you how uh, I put the lip on, but they're tiny and it's very difficult to video. So this is a large pouring bowl, but the pr the principle is the same." What I've got here is just a collar of clay that I've thrown and that's going to form the lip. You need a suitable round uh, profile to give you uh, a, a cut out for it. This is what I use for these larger bowls. A piece of copper pipe is what I use for the small bowls. So we just... Uh, mark on here I'm only using this to mark around because I can't cut I can't cut evenly by eye so I struggle I'm going to cut this out be careful not to split it it's a bit of a, a bit of a gamble in uh, how soft it needs to be to support the rim that you're putting on, but how hard how hard it is to support the rim, and it's quite thin, you see. Um, and then not to have it split. And just uh, pinch this a little bit here to make it easier. And I need to cut this. Um, this room here that's going to go on you have to do it by <coughs> guesstimate to begin with okay so that's that's just a strip of clay we're giving it with a nice rim we we'll spread this bit out and trim it a little bit just to make it a little bit easier to use that's it trimmed out. We'll spread it out a bit. It's fairly soft. And then what we do on here is score around the edge. This is slip out the slurry bucket, but what I do is I put white white vinegar in. Someone had told me to put white vinegar in; it becomes more, it sort of etches into the clay, and you, you get less uh, cracks for me. Uh, you can use white vinegar apparently to. Um, you can use white vinegar to repair cracks in clay, but unless it's some kind of important one off, I just put it back in the bin start again about repairing stuff <laughs> my adage is that clay uh, and a pot gets one ch <coughs> it gets one chance in life <laughs> and uh, if it don't come off in the bin it goes, there's no, I don't refire and well, rarely refire anything never say never but I prefer not to, ok so then we offer it up to the pot, you can see there. I'll try and do this for you upside down, which I'll do. more than likely damage it. A little bit of finesse. And then what we do is, <coughs> we fold this over onto the top, fold that over onto the top, Move it in. Various little bits of bits of wood and profiles here to give it a little bit of a bit of a little bit of detail. And also, what it does is it uh, it compresses it onto the pot. So the rim of the <coughs> little bit of thrown 
has become the rim here so you get a nice pouring rim and it's just a question of pressing these parts here into the bowl and then with a sponge dry sponge you don't want to get it too wet and smooth the inside And just to add a little bit of detail and to compress it even more, if I can find the blooming thing, I have a, a large screw head somewhere. don't have the screw head to hand so I'm going to use this, this is a bit of a straw, plastic straw. Let me just press a detail on there. And it's just a question of finishing it off on the outside. fettle with this for another 10 minutes or so if you wanted to but that's that so there you have it obviously the lid sits in a gallery on the smaller pots with a little thrown knob and that's the bowl not my idea very few uh, very few original ideas in ceramics at the moment. It's all been done by some potter in Korea 2000 years ago, most of it. You think you've had a great idea and then you do your, sh you do your history and you look through the internet and you realise that there's a, an unknown craftsman who about 2000 years ago did it in Korea. <laughs> Such is the way it is. So it should be. There you go. A little bit of a feature of a spout. You could put a little strap handle on there to help you pour it, but I don't bother. Let that dry out a little bit and then uh, it'll have a little bit of a smooth off with a sponge. You're all a bit crazy with it at the moment. Okay. Um, I've just been and fetched one now. Here, this is a second. It's got a crack on the inside there because I raw fired this and it didn't like it but that's the pot finished it's got a wood ash glaze on the outside it should have a chino on the inside red chino but it's bubbled and done weird things in the in the firing so these ones I've just done now are to replace these they'll be biscuit fired not raw fired this clay doesn't want to be raw fired it gets cracked so I suppose it'll do as a fruit bowl, but there's the rim after firing. Still sound, just a bit of surface crackage. Okay.